Uh, now we're asking, should there be on-the-spot fines for anyone carrying cannabis? 0207 862 is the number to give us a ring with your views on this. That's what the French are doing anyway. They're doing it in France, where police have been given card readers to find people on the street if they are caught with even small amounts of weed. Now, the fine is £130 for the first-time offence, but could rise to £2,100 for repeat offenders. In the UK, anyone caught with can cannabis faces a maximum of five years in prison and unlimited fines. <clears throat> but in reality, people caught with small amounts often just get let off with a warning or a light slap on the wrist. So should we be fining people on the spot, Narinda? Perhaps we need to get tougher. No, I think we should legalise it, if anything. I mean, look, I've never had weed, but I've been told weed would be good for me to calm me down. Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that, actually, no, on all seriousness, in all seriousness, it should be legalised. If, you if you've got alcohol, which causes addiction, vaping, cigarettes, why not cannabis? Well, because why we have alcohol, we... cigarettes, yes. and we know the devastation that that causes us and the NHS, so why would we add something else that could also cause psychosis, gateway drugs to other because things? Because alcohol and everything does all of that too and I think that actually so we should ban if that you're too. doing on the spot fines you're just making it's a backdoor way of making money and actually you're not stopping the criminal gangs you're just picking on the person who's the possible addict that's all you're doing is picking on them you're not actually stopping the criminal activity well, people with cannabis are they addicts or are they criminals it's antisocial behavior isn't it I mean I was some people would I was, say it was very social I behavior. was exercising in the park the other day and there was a group of young guys sat there smoking cannabis. It absolutely stinks. Um, they're also, you know, playing their music really loudly and sort of shouting and things. A little bit intimidating for people walking through the park, I'd say. And I think that sort of thing, yeah, why not hit them with a But fire? then alcohol, you've got kids in the park having cans of whoever. But that is also exactly. antisocial behaviour. And right. if there were enough police officers, which is obviously, like, would they actually but be able to do this? But it's spoiling everyone's fun. But, but, but it's not everyone's fun. It's their fun at the uh, cost of everyone else. It's not the cost of anybody. They're just You should legalise it because it does help people's... It does help health. Apparently, it's good for your health. Well, it's do it in for... your own home. I have no problem with people doing it in their own home. I would legalise it in your own home, but not in a park or a public space where so it actually does even... impact people's lives. I mean, but that's just a personal opinion then, Emily, because yeah, some people would opinion. find va vaping much more yes. offensive than the smell of weed, for example, um, walking into a plume of someone's... Possibly. Sweet apple and, or and cherry or whatever it is. Possibly, Possibly, but obviously it's a it's a drug that does have harmful effects like and it is tobacco? illegal. And it is actually illegal we should to leave. smoke cannabis. But so you think Whether it's it okay not, to do on-the-spot the fines? I think so. Why? But you can get an on-the-spot fine for um, stubbing your cigarette out on, in the wrong place. For littering? So therefore it will work then? You can get on-the-spot fines for drinking and being leery. But I it think, doesn't in a work. Area. Well, I think the problem is, is that there aren't enough, you know, police officers or community, whatever you want to call them, to actually enforce this kind of thing. But, apparently... but I think it's fair enough to not want you know, people loitering around smoking weed and it stinks. OK, Emily, I, I understand. And it can intoxicate you too. Your point, but on another uh, point on this, France is giving out 5,000 card readers. We're talking so about the bad. things you get at shops. <laughs> so do you want to see... You can understand why if those fines aren't getting paid because people are t saying, my name's Bob Geldorf, I live it, you know, whatever, and mm. just giving fake names if you're not actually <laughs> Bob Geldorf. Um, and then, so so... Card readers for police, is that something they should take responsibility I mean, for? Aren't they busy doing other things? To be honest, I don't know how France is going to be do this. I've lived in France and people smoke cannabis absolutely everywhere. In sports stadiums, in music concerts, out and about. Um, I really don't understand you know, how they're going to be able to do this. in states in America and in Canada and it's working. There's no problems there. There's no problems there. You it's there's, working. There's, you say there's no problems, but cannabis can cause psychosis even from your first... A dalliance with right. it. D do you not worry about young people whose brains haven't quite fully developed? Because I'm already worried there? about them having vapes. That's already an absolute... That's not been proven to cause psychosis, though. No, but it's pr proven to have uh, addictions and lung damage. I think that's even worse. Yes, and alcoholism and the sure. liver damage. All of these things cause health problems. I don't see why cannabis has been picked on. It helps people. I think legalism I'm actually, you know, really... In your own home, fine, but not in a park where people are trying to exercise or have a walk around, you know? Eileen from Lancashire, what's your views on this? Should we do on-the-spot fines for cannabis? I think it would be a good idea to do anything that would stop people from smoking cannabis. But because I think... it does cause psychosis in young people. Yeah. 
uh, not just young people, but um, particularly, I suppose, uh, we worry about young people. Eileen, though, some people would say that the reason that they get psychosis is because the cannabis that we get um, in Britain is cut so much with other substances um, that, you know, are, are not natural. If we legalised it, then we could make sure that the, the quality of the cannabis was better. We could also tax it so the, you know, the government's making money out of it. That might be a better approach. If we legalised heroin and put tax on that, would that be good for the government and for the people of England, Great Britain? I mean, I think, maybe. I think cannabis is a bad thing and I don't think it, it leads on to other drugs with some people, not with everybody. But I need and that. I think... But my daughter had to move house because next door, the woman behind her was smoking cannabis and the young man next to her was smoking cannabis and it was getting through into her house. Oh. And she moved into rented house and then she had to buy another house because sell the house she, she, she was living in and buy a detached house because there's no way they can cope with this cannabis smell and the fumes getting into their children. And that would go against what you said, that people can smoke it in their own homes because then they're causing issues for Eileen's daughter. Well, yeah. Perhaps it's just an antisocial thing to do. People should avoid it. But if, but if we're talking about antisocial things to do, drinking is antisocial, smoking yeah, drinking antisocial. Drinking out on the streets all is antisocial, of these, yeah. Well, drinking in your house and then getting so, you know, yes. battered that you're, yes. like, shouting out of the windows. Oh, I don't know what people do. Well, <laughs> they're 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 picking up a scene. The, the <laughs> thing is, though, the thing is, Storm, is that it is actually against the law to smoke cannabis. But uh, what so I'm getting I, at is that that's true, but it is... But it causes the same effects that things like smoking and alcohol do. That's what we're moaning about. So if we're going to legalise yes. them, shouldn't we legalise cannabis or we make all of it illegal? Well, I'm not against legalising cannabis in your own home, as I said. But I think it does count as antisocial behaviour if you are smoking a drug which has really, really quite I don't stinky... know which cannabis smokers cause, like, fights and trouble and, you know, riots on the street. Alcohol does all of that, especially football matches. But cannabis users... I've, I've never known a cannabis user that's gone on noticed, to have a massive fight. I've, it actually chills you I've out. I've noticed recently, around where I live and around um, the capital, that basically you can constantly smell Smell, it. I can smell And I do everywhere. think it is intimidating for people. And I do think when there are groups of mostly young men together smoking the stuff... It can be quite um, intimidating. That's a, that's a generalisation. To Eileen, young thank you very uh, much for your call. Who's on the streets, right, smoking? Kevin from London, what's your views on this? Well, actually, you've made a good, good, good argument yourself. We should legalise cannabis, control cannabis because to stop it being interfered with mm. and 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 dangerous. Um, and if we if we legalise it, we, we drive the crook out of the out of the picture. That's true. But Kevin, I'm going to now argue with my, my own point because that's my job. So, um, OK, so we legalise cannabis. Then we see all the health problems that go along with cannabis and its use may have gone up. So the NHS that's already under pressure is now under pressure coping with the problems, uh, the knock-on effects of regular well, cannabis use. And we end up in the same situation we are with cigarettes. I think if the NHS had the option to ban cigarettes and make them illegal, they certainly would. Well, the thing is, though, if, if you if you if you don't legal if you don't legalise cannabis, you leave it in the hands of the crooks, and that's their bottom line. I, 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 and I, and the cannabis that's sold on, on the street is 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 the dangerous cannabis that causes these health problems. Well, so if you legalise cannabis, you legalise the quality and the quantity and things like that. Then but the, the Kevin, chance with... the, it's the tobacco and cigarettes that causes the the cancers and. And most people that smoke cannabis will smoke it with tobacco. So you're just increasing that use. But but thank you very much for your call. Roy from West Yorkshire, do you think we should just legalise cannabis? Would that be the right approach? Roy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, I'm going to say perhaps yes. What's your response? Yes. Should we legalise cannabis? Well, yes. Um, in fact, I've had um, epilepsy for the last 15 years. Okay. The only thing that stops my fits is cannabis. Now, I can't get it legally because doctors can prescribe it, but they won't. Why? You tell me. No, no, I, I'm asking. If you've, <laughs> if you've been to your GP and you've said, yep. listen, I know that cannabis helps my epilepsy, could you please prescribe it? And it's a different kind of... It's not like the cannabis that you would buy. It's medical cannabis. Yep. And, and they've said no. What is the reason that they've said no to you? 
they haven't given me a reason. They just won't. Um, I haven't met a doctor yet that will prescribe it. I think it's the illegal. only way you can get it is if you go to a um, specialised clinic, right, and pay for it yourself. Obviously, we we don't condone um, smoking cannabis. It is illegal. But can't you go and go to one of these specialists? Why can't you refer yourself there or ask your GP to because refer I yourself need my to us? medical notes? And uh, unfortunately, at the moment, NHS are missing me about with them. <laughs> okay, so you but you are in the process to get there, Roy. Right, yeah, trying to. But, but it does. Uh, okay, so I can understand from a medical point of view that it helps you, but most people, I believe, that are smoking cannabis, and apparently it says 6.5% of people aged between 16 and 59 report of using cannabis in the previous year. I think that's a very low number, personally. But but anyway, most people that are smoking cannabis in this country are not smoking it for health reasons, are they? No, they're smoking it for... Uh... Okay, so do we want to be in a country where that is deemed legal, that we're very accepting of that kind of behaviour, bearing in mind the impacts that alcohol and, and cigarettes have had? Um, yes, it you, needs to go that way. You, you, you want to legalise it still? Yes. So where do you stop then, Roy? Do we legalise heroin? No. I don't, no. Why are you oh, saying no? no? Why not? No, no. Why? Heroin. It's class A. It's a class A well, drug. Well, well, okay. Yeah, class, it's, it's a class A. Uh, heroin. Cannabis is class B. time you take it. Okay, all right, Roy, thank you very much for your, for your call. There's your definitely a strong that... argument to decriminalise it because it is essentially unenforceable and it would be better to get the tax money and to regulate yeah, it Yeah, look properly. how much tax that but would I do bring think, in. I do think there is a difference when it's a bit antisocial behaviour in a public space. I think that, I think there is I, that argument like, I wouldn't is void like people, because... You don't like okay, people drinking, maybe, like, maybe getting Larry. Maybe the fine is for antisocial behaviour yeah. rather than the cannabis itself. Yes. Maybe, there we go, sorted. And Stephen, <laughs> I can always find a compromise somewhere. <laughs> Stephen from Malta, what's your thoughts? Uh, hi there. Um, my thoughts are that um, cannabis should be should be legalised. Tell me uh, why. First of all, I live in a country um, that had the, the drug laws are draconic. They, they they five years ago you'd get jail for a walk with a joint. Two years ago they legalised the growing of cannabis in your own home um, for personal use. So now you can grow four plants in your own home. You've taken the the um, the money that you uh, you smoke cannabis, uh, uh, but the money you used to pay to your uh, the local dealers that's now being taken away from the cr uh, from the crooks. You can you can pick your own plants, you can pick your own seeds, you can decide what you want to grow and what you want to smoke. And in this day and age, where it's got, it does have medical uses. Yes, we um, heard I, that. I, but, but let's be really frank about this. The medical uses is a hard argument to to contradict yes. because if it's helping, uh, particularly there's lots of stories with small children with epilepsy, and it helps. It. You, you can't really argue it against the medical use. Um, no, but of hang it. on but, a second. But that's not what I, most people are using it for. No. I smoke it for my for, for, for my. Uh, it, 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 you, you might go and have a glass of red wine. And you feel great, mm. okay? It's legal. I don't drink, so I smoke a, a bit of marijuana. What's the difference between well, having one a is one, one is legal and one isn't? Is the is yes, but who's who, yes, who determines it's it's helping him relax? Just Stephen, like a Stephen, would, would you? Eaten. The problem for me though is, would you smoke it on a park bench next to a running track where no, little kids no, are running around? No, that I don't. is what's no, happening no. in London. That is what's no, happening in no. London. Is I, everywhere? I agree with that, but what I don't agree with is that you watch these TV programs these police programmes, there's 15, 20 police officers smash somebody's front door in and the guy's got one plant. <laughs> yeah. You've yeah, got that's all ridiculous. that resources that being wasted, yeah. being wasted on, on, on a marijuana when the police could be, be, be pointed in the direction of, of knife crime uh, muggings. But, but the, the police would then say that a lot of the violent crimes we see in the street is to do with drugs and drug yeah. dealing. So, yes, so it's yes, all it one is. big I, story. Steven. I agree, but but the main drug. Listen, you don't know. You, I, I don't know anybody, and I've been involved with with the uh, smoking marijuana for forty years. I don't know anybody that's gone out, and smashed an old lady on the head, and nicked a handbag. Yeah, but it's, it's to not go about the. Okay, I see. So you if said it's all about it, you would crime. Have the dealers. I've got it, Stephen. Thank you very much for your call. Interested, uh, interesting to hear what's happening in Malta. Claire from Tyne and Weir. What do you think about these fines? We're stopping people that have cannabis on them and fining them immediately. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a joke, to be fair. Um, I think really in, you know, sort of looking in uh, the bigger picture, there's, there's worse things that can happen. But uh, I know my neighbours, they smoke heavily and it, it really, I mean, 
just it it it, it influxes my my home with the, the smell and uh, that's that you know it's, it's wrong. I don't agree it, with it. But, so is it the know, is it the fact that they smoke cannabis or is it the amount that they smoke? Because I wonder whether there is a difference between sort of legalizing cannabis use but still having your antisocial behaviour. Um, Laws. Yeah, it's not, it's not antisocial. It's just it, it influxes on in, in my house. You know the, the smell in that my is house. Antisocial behaviour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a difficult one, actually, and that just that that comes with all sorts of things. I mean, we we spoke earlier in the week about barbecues, and people don't like people having barbecues in their neighbour's <laughs> garden the because the smell Do you think comes people are just extra sensitive? And it's oh, well, it's coming into my house. Well, that's part of life. Yeah, true. Be fair. You know, yeah, don't, don't you're buy still a... in your house, and the smell's gone over hot cheese. I could curry, and you know, the neighbours could say, "Oh, well, we can smell curry all day." Well, I've got a cook. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you do. <laughs> do I Claire, Claire, love it. Okay. Claire, what would you say to Narinda then, who says you're maybe being a bit sensitive about that? Because they're, they're doing it no, in their own well, home. Curry, curry can make you hungry, but cannabis just, it, no, sorry, it doesn't do, no. Do it, cannabis is illegal in the cooking in Korea. Korea. <laughs> Yes, but they're in their own home and the smell just wa wafts over. That's not their fault. And actually, they're still in their own home. It's just hard cheese. You live right next door to them. It's just, is that not be a bit sensitive? Well, it's not sensitive. It's just like it's, it, you know, it, it affects me. It affects me work. Right. Okay. Mm. I mean, what I find astonishing is that actually the would UK. You want to, would you want to live next to some stoners? I don't, I, you know, I live and let live. Who am I? It's obviously not in my room, in my house. You might not like it in reality, though. But I think the same argument might be able to put with, you know, heavy smokers, a, a family or full smoker, of smokers, yes, exactly. or, or you know, an alcoholic. I think there's lots of things. If you're living next door to someone that does anything too extreme, that can be quite distressing. Yes. Um, so thank you very much for your call. It has been really interesting. And again, I don't think we've come to any sort of conclusion on that one, but that's what we do here. We just blend it.